I'm pretty sure you know what this is, and I'm pretty sure you know to stick around for the full review, so uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up-to-date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So despite a bit of a false start with this card, check out our Facebook page for the uh, the picture. Um, I actually got my hands on an AMD R9 Nano, and it's an awesome little card. I'm going to say that too many times, but it just really is. It's six inches long, it's literally the length of a PCI slot and no more, and uh, features HBM memory, so it's pretty awesome. It's actually pretty power efficient. It has a kind of blower style heatsink design where it has a, a fan in the center that sucks in air, and then we'll push it into the system at the back and also ba uh, through the rear IO at the back as well. That's basically how it's going to keep itself cool. You also see the 8-pin uh, power connector on the back. Now, this is very, very similar to the Fury X in a lot of ways. It's basically just a underclocked version. Um, it's also very similar in the I.O. with three full-size display ports and an HDMI port, um, but also has a Radeon logo on the bottom and the side. And unfortunately, while this one doesn't light up, you do get some cool aluminium-looking fan or heatsink-ness uh, through the cuts on the side, which does make it a very stylish card, uh, not to mention the uh, just sheer awesomeness. It's also actually running the same core as a Fury X with 4096 uh, stream processors, 4 gigabytes of HBM, and actually, because it's underclocked, it's actually running 100 watts less on the TDP at 175 watts than the Fury X. It's, as I said, it's also a 6-inch card, so it's just amazing. And just look at it. It just looks amazing. I mean, I, I'd want this in my system even if I wasn't running an ITX build, which is kind of the whole point of this card. Which brings me on to this shot, which is showing the i5-6600K and the ASUS Pro Gaming Board. It's an ITX board and fits very, very nicely with this graphics card. Ironically, I'm using it in a full-size ATX case. In fact, it's actually a full tower, not a mid tower, uh, which is even worse. But, uh, you know, if you're looking to build a small, you know, compact but incredibly, you know, powerful system, these kind of parts are the ones I go for. Honestly, it's, it's amazing. Um, in terms of temperatures, we're getting about 7 degrees max, I think it averaged at about 60, 65, despite what Unijin said, which is about 60,000 uh, degrees Celsius, so a bit mad, but um, yeah. In terms of performance, obviously this uh, this 3D Mark score is very kind of reliant on the rest of the system, so if you want to check out other systems, check out uh, 3D Mark, or Future Mark's website. But in terms of uh, you know genuine gameplay, we're seeing between sort of 60 and 70 FPS to upwards of 90 to 100, depending on what game we're playing. And the ones that I've got listed here, as you can see, it's around about 75 and 71 FPS respectively in Dirt Rally and Far Cry. Uh, 4 on ultra settings on both at 1080p. Unfortunately, I don't have a 4K or 1440p monitor around at this point in time, but if I do get to keep the uh, R9 Nano for any length of time, I will be doing uh, benchmarks for that one and I'll let you know. But yeah, the only issue I had with the card was actually really the fan noise, just because it's pushing so much air over that heatsink, it does get a little bit loud, and also I think mine has a bit of a sort of whine issue, but that's probably just down to this card and not respective of the rest. But um, yeah, I'm going to cover that and all the other stuff in the awards and sections and stuff like that. Uh, right about now. So this is a pretty awesome little card and I think you can guess why. Um, in terms of pros and cons I should jump into it, um, the only con I have of it is that the uh, the actual fan was quite loud because obviously the uh, it's blowing so much air to keep the temperatures nice and cool but um, it did actually have a little bit of a whine but I think this is respective of this sample because it's been to a few people already. Um, uh, not just the every sort of R9 Nano. The only other thing, uh, negative thing I'd say, is that the power port I think should be on the side, not the back, just because it means that that's, if it's on the back, it means that you have to leave an extra inch to put the uh, power connector in, which basically makes it a 7 inch car, not 6 inch, so yeah, that's just something to bear in mind um, and a, a quick suggestion to AMD for the next generation. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a very stylish, very small, very powerful, great temperatures, um, and personally I'd like to see a DVI port just because of my testing setup and it made it quite annoying for me to actually test this thing, but uh, nonetheless it is a fantastic little card and it's actually going to get a 4 for 5 money. I know it is basically the same price as a Fury X, but you've got to remember that it basically is a Fury X that's just downclocked a little bit and with, you know, not no water cooling, so, you know, bear that in mind and that's why it's going to get that as well. It's actually going to get a 5 for performance because it's the only one in this, you know, size category that performs this well with this great temperature, so, 
you know, I, I have to I have to give my hats off to MD for this one. Uh, it really is a great card. Um, in terms of functionality, it's actually going to get a 4, just because I personally would like to see a DVI port, I'd personally like to see the power port on the other side, and I'd like to see, uh, just uh, make sure that the fan noise um, is a little bit less, but, you know, for the temperatures you get, it's probably worth it. Um, for style, it's going to get a 5 because it's a beautiful little card and I love it. It's also going to get a 5 for Tech Team DB score because it is a fantastic product in the category. Um, in fact, it's the only product in the category that uh, is really kind of worth some great merit, I think. Um, at least that I've tested anyway. And uh, yeah, it's going to get the Gamer Approved Award because if you're looking to build a small, powerful, awesome little gaming system with maybe something like the ASUS uh, Pro Gaming Board and a 6700K or something like that, this is definitely something you should check out. So that's pretty much it. If you've got any questions about the R9 Nano um, or you know the video or anything else, please do leave them in the comments down below. Um, and uh, I'll uh, hopefully get back to you as soon as I can. And um, by the way, just before I close up, there is actually a BIOS switch on here, so if you do want to switch between the normal and backup BIOSes, you can do. Um, although these chips are not unlocked for overclocking, um, as of yet anyway, so I'm not really too sure why it's there, but if you do want to, uh, you know, hack the BIOS, there is a backup where, um, if you want to use it, so... Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out YoYo Tech if you want to buy this uh, Nano or any other uh, you know tech if you're in the UK. Check them out in the uh, the description down below as well as the link over there. Check out our uh, Facebook and Twitter if you want to check out some more uh, teaser things, including the picture of the broken one that I got, which is really painful for me to say. But um, yeah, check that out. Check out our uh, other videos. P please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you like it. Dislike if you dislike it. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Oh yeah, check out our, our links for merchandise as well if you want to check out, uh, uh, pick up a, a very soft, very lovely hoodie. And bear in mind, there isn't just uh, Titan Beauty stuff, there is other, you know, funny stuff as well, so check that out. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, let me know if you pick one up, and uh, yeah, we'll see you all in the next video.